In this video we're going to take a look on pages PowerPoint 76 and 77 in which we're going to customize the background and theme. After watching this video you should be able to apply a slide background and change the style. Also to modify the presentation theme. Every slide in a PowerPoint presentation has a background, the area behind the text and graphics. You modify the background to enhance the slides using image and color. A background graphic is an object placed on the slide master. You can quickly change the background appearance by applying a background style, which is a set of color variations derived from the theme colors. Theme colors determine the, col um, the colors for all slide elements in your presentation, including slide background, text, and lines, shadows, fills, accents, and hyperlinks. Every PowerPoint theme has its own set of theme colors. Now let's take a look at the steps on page, on page PowerPoint 76. Step 1 tells us that we now want to click on the Design tab on the ribbon. And then, once we click on the Design tab, we're going to click on the Format Background button in the Customize group, which is over here on the right-hand side. There's our Format Background button. Once we click on that, the Format Background pane opens up displaying the Fill options. The picture or the texture fill button, uh, option button is selected indicating that the slide has a textured background. In step two, it tells us that we want to click the solid fill option button. So we're going to click on this top option button here. And of course you'll notice that the slide has changed to a greenish color. Then next, once we review our slide, it tells us that we are then going to click the graduate fill, or graduate fill which has a different uh, color uh, to it. So we're going to review the slide, taking a look at how it looks. And then we're going to click on the pattern fill option. And we're going to review the slide on that as well. And then finally, we're going to go down to the patterns here and we're going to click on the diagonal brick pattern, which is in the sixth row. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's zigzag, and we're going to go here to the diagonal brick. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and that's going to change that as well. Now you'll notice that this shows the new background on slide one of the presentation. The new background style does not appear over the whole slide because there are background items on the slide master preventing you from seeing the entire uh, slide background. Now of course a quick tip as well, you can add artistic effects, picture um, corrections or picture color changes to a slide background um, by, and click on, by clicking the effects or picture icons on the format background pane and then click one of the options as well. In step three, it tells us that we want to click on the Hide Background Graphics checkbox in the Format Background pane. Now we'll notice that all of the background items, which include the QST logo, the white box behind the text objects, and the colored shapes are hidden from view, and only the text objects and slide number remain visible. In step four, it tells us that we want to deselect the Hide Background Graphics checkbox, and then click the Reset Background button at the bottom of the Format Background pane, which is right here at the very bottom where it says Reset Background. Now all the background items and the texture slide background appear again as specified by the theme. So once you make all your changes, if you're like, eh, I really don't like that, you can always reset the background. However, after you make all your changes, and then if you do like it, you can always click on Apply to All, and that will uh, apply your background, as you see on this one slide, to all the slides. On step five, it tells us that we want to click on the File button under the Insert Picture from Selection in the Format Background pane. So here's the Insert Picture from, and we're going to click on the File button here and we want to go to where you saved your uh, picture at probably either your downloads or your my documents or your home drive and in this case we want to select the picture file pptd-3 which looks like a mountain with a little lake here 
and we want to select it and then we want to click on insert once we have that we now notice that the new picture fills the slide background behind the background items now of course a quick tip as well to create a custom theme you can click the view tab then click the slide master button and the master views group and then click the colors button the fonts button or the effects button in the background group and step six it now tells us that we want to click the slide three thumbnail in the thumbnails pane so we're going to go here to our package classes and then it tells us that we then want to point to the dark brown theme variant in the variants group uh, on here so we are going to go through there and we're going to choose uh, some of the different variants and of course the variants are up here uh, in our ribbon so we go up here to our uh, we have the organic and then of course there is our other organic uh, that's on there um, which is a little bit darker and of course all these are all organic but we can um, expand this out a little bit uh, on there of course we can all uh, always choose some of the different colors fonts effects background styles that's on there as well and of course we can choose those but we want to choose this one right here and of course this is going to be the um, the option that we want to choose and of course uh, we want to point to this one uh, on there and of course when we point to this one we're going to notice how the new theme variant changes the color of the shapes on the slide and the background texture now a variant is a custom variation of the applied theme and in this case the organic theme Theme variants are similar to the original theme, but they are made up of different complementary colors, slide backgrounds, and, and such as textures, patterns, and background elements such as shapes and pictures. Now we're going to point to other variants in the variants groups, but ultimately we're going to choose this one right here. We're going to choose the third variant from the left on there, and that is this one right here. And we're going to click on that one. So we're going to choose this variant right here and then we're going to click on the format background pane uh, and we're going to click on this close button right here and that will close the format background pane and then we're going to save our work now of course on the bottom of page powerpoint 77 tells us a little bit of uh, there's a table down there tells us a little bit about theme colors on there and of course with our text and background colors uh, on there some things uh, description that's on there of course you want to use contrasting colors for type characters and slide backgrounds so if you are using a black or dark text you probably want to use a light colored background now for accent colors it tells us that there are six accent colors used for shapes draw lines and text now the shadow color for text and objects and the fill and outline colors for shapes are all accent colors and all of these colors contrast appropriately with the background and text color so those are all generally automatically uh, chosen for you uh, hyperlink color are colors used for hyperlinks that you insert now generally most of the time it's blue for hyperlinks that have not been clicked and then it switches to purple if they have been clicked but you can change those as well uh, and of course that's the followed hyperlink color is usually once it's been clicked um, that's like when it's it's blue if it has not been clicked that's the hyperlink color and if it's been followed uh, that's when it turns to purple and that concludes the information that's on pages PowerPoint 76 and 77 you're ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to use slideshow commands